Hey guys, welcome back to Frost Grown. I'd like to bring you along with me today as I assemble and plant my new Mr. Stacking Planter. It's basically just a stacking vertical planter to increase your growing potential in one square foot. It just snaps together. like so, and it has 20 pockets to plant whatever you want. So, it is very windy today, and speaking of wind, this would not hold up just sitting out here and a windstorm come through. It would knock it all over, and all of your hard work and your little plants would just fall all over the garden, and that's not what you want. So, I am going to attempt to make a secure stand for this, and hopefully it goes well. I have here half inch electrical conduit. It is 10 foot long. And since I do have two Mr. Stackies that I plan on putting up, I'm gonna cut this in half. So I'm gonna measure out five feet. So this knob on the end, when you turn it, it adjusts the diameter of the inside of where the area you wanna cut. So I'm just gonna kind of open it up all the way. Okay, and then I put it where I want it and then I just tighten it. And once it's pretty snug, you just start turning it. And after a couple turns, you tighten it some more and then keep doing that until you cut through your pipe. And once your pipe is cut, you loosen that and twist apart. Now I'm going to use my drill with a 7 8 hole saw to drill a hole in the center of my planter. I'm doing that because the electrical conduit will go through that and into the ground and help stabilize my Mr. Stacky. There we go. So you might be wondering what this is. It is my drip irrigation. I did have blueberries in this planter, but I decided to swap them into a different one that's more decorative for the garden. And I'm putting this one behind the greenhouse. So I'm keeping this here because whenever I plant this up, this will water my plants. The tube goes through the bottom and I will connect it to my irrigation lines here. But for now, it's just gonna hang out. I did rake the bottom of the dirt just to kind of help this sit just a little more level. So now I'm just going to take my half inch electrical conduit and pound it into the ground. I need to decide how tall I want my Mr. Stacky to stand. That could have been a blooper. And I guess that's... The Mr. Stacky does have a hole in the bottom, well, multiple holes, but a center hole in the bottom of it that makes this process super easy. I think that looks pretty good and all of the planters have the pipe through them so they're all supported and then that gives me enough room to plant some pretty flowers in this bottom part here. So I need to get my tape measure and measure from the ground to the bottom of my Mr. Stacky for my next part. You might be thinking, Katie, that planter and that Mr. Stacky doesn't really look very nice and I agree with you. So I ordered white Mr. Stackies and they accidentally sent me terracotta. I emailed them and they immediately responded and sent me out the correct color and allowed me to keep the terracotta ones. I debated what to do with them and finally decided that I would just put them behind the greenhouse so I wouldn't really have to see them that much and I would use them to plant lettuce. So that is why that is why the planter and the Mr. Stackies don't exactly coordinate. I'm just using what I had available at the time. So I may spray paint them, 
but I haven't had great luck with spray paint sticking to plastic. Maybe that's something I need to do more research on. But anyways, back to the project at hand, to measure from the ground to the top of where I want the Mr. Stacky. So it looks like I'm going to be cutting a PVC pipe about 21 inches long. I will go do that and be right back. So I am back and I have my PVC pipe cut. It is one and one fourth inch PVC pipe. And again, I cut it to 21 inches long. I'm just gonna slide it over the conduit. So I just cut a hole big enough for the bottom of the planter for the electrical conduit to go through. My PVC pipe fits on the bottom of the planter, which reminds me, I'm sorry, I should have mentioned this when I was drilling the hole for this. Also drill drain holes if your planter doesn't have them. Mine already did, so unfortunately that's why I forgot. But if not, now is the time to add drain holes to your planter or else your plants will not be happy. I usually add about five drain holes for a planter this size. And they're, I mean, just a little tiny drill bit and I usually do like a star pattern or something like that. So I cut the PVC pipe to 21 inches. I'm gonna have to take it back in and cut it down at least another two inches because I want this pipe to go up through this hole to hold it. Cause this top tier, when it's on, that pipe is not holding it secure and it can just fly off. So let's go fix that. Okay, I'm back. So now the pipe measures at 19 and a half inches long. Let's see if that looks better. Okay, much. Bring you in for a closer look here. See, now having this pipe come up through there, this piece is just a little more secure. So now that we have this at the height we want, now we're gonna fill it up with soil and get started planting. I am using miracle Grow's Moisture Control Potting Mix because these containers are pretty small. So anything that I can do to help them stay watered easier, I'm gonna try to do that. And I, I've had good luck with this potting mix and I really like it. So I'm gonna disassemble this, hopefully one more time, fill it with dirt, reassemble it. I have my Mr. Stacky, my Mr. Crush, <laughs> and the potting soil. And I've seen where people do and suggest to put something here, like another pipe or something, to not have to fill it with so much soil. I would not recommend that because these containers, like I said, are pretty small and you're taking away your plant's ability to root in and send their roots into the middle to get more nutrients, stay cooler, get more water. So by skimping out on a few more dollars of soil, I don't think that your plants are going to thrive as well. So for me, I want the most production out of my plants and if that means buying one more bag of potting soil, I'd rather do that. The reason I picked one and one fourth inch PVC pipe is because on the bottom of this Mr. Stacky, there is exactly a little ledge for a one and one fourth inch PVC pipe to fit right on there and hold it nice and snug. So that's why I went with that size. One little trick that I sometimes do when I'm trying to not make such a mess, which is very rare, um, I like to fold down the sides of the potting soil bag so that way I'm not reaching my hand in there and getting so much on my arms. So you just grab it by the corners and just kind of fold it. The 
the girls have found me. Hey, Nugget. Hey, girl. Hey. I know, she says, don't touch me with those dirty hands. You nasty. I have with me 10 different kinds of leafy greens. So I think I'm just gonna do two pockets of each kind. And I think to keep it straight and to know which pocket is planted, all of these pretty much, the seed pack, the back of the seed packet tells you the depth to plant the seeds. And all of these are pretty much one fourth of an inch. So I'm just gonna kind of go through rough up the pockets here. I will probably just be putting the seed packets up on the screen so you can look at the different kinds of leafy greens I'm putting in here and their description and things like that because I'm pretty excited just to get this planted. So I'm going to work on that and we'll check in at the end here. Now these seeds hopefully are very small so I'm just going to kind of surface sprinkle them and then lightly cover them. So a lot of seed companies, when you order from them, they'll give you like a free seed packet. So I have this salad mix from MI Gardener, and I have this salad mix from Botanical Interest. I think I'm just gonna mix these up and plant them in half of this second Mr. Stacky. So that way I can plant herbs in this one as well. I should have thought about that for this one so they would look the same, but it'll be fine. Let's get planting. We got both Mr. Stackies assembled and planted today. I love them. I love the growing space that I have with such a small footprint. I'm also really excited that they turn because I planted these on the north side of my greenhouse, which means they will be in the shade. However, I did that on purpose because lettuce does not like the warm temperatures of summer. The hot sun and warm temperatures cause it to bolt or go to seed, and then it loses its flavor and tastes very bitter. I'm hoping I will extend my harvest of lettuce by having it be in the shade. And this is nice because I can rotate it so it can still get the sun it needs. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that this is something that intrigues you and inspires you to maybe get out in your own space and plant something lovely. Thank you so much for joining me today.